am interested in the relationship, the human environment relationships and interactions. And in terms of the challenge that manifests as an interest in policy and governance. So how do we regulate space or how do we regulate people and activities in and around the moana? And I know that, well, you have to, you just have to respect the moana. You have to respect tangaroa. And if you don't, then that's foolish <laughs> sort of thing. It's at a more instinctual level at this point rather than a, like an academic level, I would say. I don't think the moana is special because of any science reason. Not at all. It's our relationship with it. I think it's disrespectful to Tangaro. I remember saying, you know, litter. When I was young, I remember saying, you know, litter and being like, so why would you do that? Why would you do that? Because that's disrespectful. My connection is is definitely, it's at an emotional and personal level. It's not an intellectual level or anything like that. I love the word Moana. I love, I, um, I remember just even as a kid, I like the mouthfeel of Moana. I just think it's a beautiful word. It's one of the most beautiful Māori words. I love it. And because it does conjure up, it, well, for me, that it, it conjures up an image of, I guess I probably romanticise the image of the Moana, but actually Moana takes different forms in different parts of the country and in different parts of the world. Yeah, that word, I, I love the word Moana.